Isn't there a danger in your profession, public profile, getting work as an actress about talking about this sort of thing? Yes, I think there is actually, because I know uh, when I was going, when I was at my worst, I had to pull out of two jobs. And I know those companies will never employ me mm. in future. Thanks. And I think uh, there's a tendency to think that you may be flaky and yeah. unreliable. But of course, really, you're just the opposite. Mm. Uh, but if you're ill, you're ill. When you say you're just the opposite, is that because so many people who are very high-functioning, perfectionists, hard-working, tend to suffer from depression? Most definitely. And we are people-pleasers. And you so don't want to let anyone down, but in the end, you put yourself under such pressure, mm. you let yourself down. And I think another thing that's really important, I heard someone say this the other day, they, they can, you always hear them say, it's just the same as having a broken leg. You can make it better once you get the right treatment. But for a broken leg, the treatment is the same for everyone. Mm. For mental illness or uh, clinical depression, each treatment is individual. Mm. And so trying to find the right one yeah. for you is difficult, well, but you can find it. You can find it, but why do you get it in the first place? You see, because did you ever think, why me? Did you see yourself as prone to this? Do you have to find out the reason behind this before, the, before you can progress? Why did it come knocking at your door? I honestly don't know. I think I am a perfectionist. I put myself under massive pressure, uh, and I am a people pleaser. But I never thought anything like that would happen to me. But clinical depression, I mean, there, there's, your brain doesn't yeah, produce it's certain a chemicals. a chemical thing. You can't, you and can't I help. I think I was going into the menopause and that was what kicked it off, I think. Mm. But no one knows for mm. sure. But the chemicals were imbalanced in my brain yeah. and gave me that. I, can, I, I, can I ask you, do you see when you look at your current storyline in Coronation Street, and it's really good, and there you are, you're the receptionist now in the doctor's surgery. I love it. I, a lot of comedy but, in there. I, I, know, I know there's a lot of comedy, it's a lot of funny at the moment, and I said to Ruth the other night, we were watching it, and I said, I bet you that leads to, it gives them an opportunity to do medical storylines. Do you, can you see that happening? Do you see a progression with that to talk about something like, for instance, depression? Well, I hope so. I mean, we've done the... Uh, Steve, Liz's yeah. son, had depression. Yeah. And I think maybe they will revisit it, not with him necessarily, but at some moment in time, or bipolar or whatever. And when you were doing those storylines... As long lines, as Liz is not trying to make them better, cos I think <laughs> she would be completely incapable. But when you were doing those storylines, what stage of your health and mental health were you... At, at that time, when oh, you were dealing with that storyline about Steve? I felt so much better. Uh, and Simon himself has talked about it, that he gets anxiety attacks. Uh, and But we were both through it. But you know it's really important because so many people feel, even if they're surrounded by people, they feel alone and that they are in that black hole on their own. And that's very and difficult. it's just good to know that yeah. other people feel the same way. Well, and that's why we always appreciate it so much when you come and talk about it, because it does help a lot of people. And you mentioned families there. It's hard for families to deal with depression. Most definitely. Um, it's understanding it. Uh, your, your husband, John, has been amazing, hasn't he? But he, he actually Superb. got counselling himself so that he or, went on a course so he would understand yeah, the illness. Because it, nothing like that had ever happened to either of us before. And he just didn't know what he was dealing with. And more often than not, it's so difficult to get a straight answer from yeah. people because often there are no straight answers, mm. but you can get well if you get the right Did treatment. Did you go straight to your GP? when you thought, I think this is depression, like, you know, this is not just me being a bit sad or a bit down. Where did you go first for help? No, I pushed myself too far. What happened was, very briefly, rather than going to my GP, I knew I was not myself, but I continued for about 18 months, just slowly getting worse and worse, and then I collapsed at work. But I'd done every scene 
all day and then collapsed when I'd finished work. 